All right, in this quick tip, we're going to be learning about the CSS box alignment property. So follow along. All right, our next CSS tip is the CSS box alignment property. Now this was kind of introduced with Flexbox, but it's now sort of bled over into other areas such as the CSS grid, and you can really do some fancy things with it. In fact, it's been separated into its own CSS module. So let's take a look. Now we're gonna have to look at the HTML first as there's a little bit of setup here. You can see I've got two separate examples over here in the preview. I have one example with the grid, and then I have another example down here using Flexbox. So in the grid example, I have one parent element that's just a wrapper that acts as the grid wrapper. And then I've got each of these children div that are just all the little individual children. The only thing really to note here is that this third div this one in the middle has extra text. So I've just done that with some break tags to kind of force that down on multiple lines so you can really see how things start to align when we do the box alignment. Down here in the flex box, it's basically the exact same setup as above. All of those six divs and the third div has some extra text to stretch that one out a little bit. So let's jump over here to the CSS and take a look at how this box alignment works. So we're gonna start off here with the grid. Now, as far as the grid goes, it's really simple. I just have a simple property called display grid, and I'm just setting that up into three columns, each of those columns being 100 pixels wide. So there's column one, column two, and column three. And then of course, because there's six divs, I have those in two rows. So one, two, three, four, five, six, okay? So that's how those are laid out. Now, what we can do here is we can add in some more of these uh, alignment properties. So let's start off and we're gonna look at the first one, which is going to be our align items. Okay, so these are traditionally Flexbox properties. But we're gonna say align dash items, and we're gonna set this to start. And you can see right away what happens there is this changes slightly. So now all of my items are aligned to the start. I can also switch this to end, and now they're down there at the bottom, where I can switch this to center, and now they're all centered, or I can switch this to stretch, and they stretch out, as which, which is what we're seeing by default here. So there's a few different options on this. I'm just gonna set this to start. And let's look at another property here, and this one is going to be the one on the opposite axis. So this is gonna be the justify content property. And let's set this to space between. And you can see now what happens is these grid items are spacing themselves apart to fill the maximum width and they're giving themselves space in between. So we can also do some of the similar properties like we just barely saw. We can set this to center. We can set it to start. We can set it to end. We can set this to space dash around instead of space between. Now there's an equal amount on the left and right side of every single column. So anyway, you can see there's kind of some fun properties there we can use. Now I'm gonna set this back to space between. And what I wanna show you is that you can also use these uh, box alignment properties here to in individual elements. So instead of on the master grid, I've come down here and this one is going to be on the first child. So in other words, I'm gonna be modifying the very first div is what this selector is going to be selecting there with that pseudo selector. And let's set this guy to align dash self. So notice the property here is different. Instead of align items, it's align self because this is going to apply to itself. And I can set that to center. And notice that first div just jumped down to the center and centered itself only. And the same thing applies. I can do some other ones as well uh, like start end, you know, all these things that we looked at before, the same apply here to align self. So I just wanted to point out that you can also use the align self uh, to, and justify self to override any of the parent grid box alignment properties. And that's all done right in the CSS grid. So let's jump down, down here to the Flexbox sample to kind of finish this off in Flexbox. So very similarly, this will work over here. So this one you can see is just set to display flex. All these boxes are now uh, kind of floating because we have the display flex. So let's just go ahead and set align dash items. We're gonna set that to flex start. So now they're all at the top on that axis there. 
And let's go ahead and set the justify content property to space between. So now they space themselves out equally with the same amount of space in between each of those divs. And just to show you the same thing, we can do an individual override. So on that first child, let's do this one to align self and set that to center. And now that first child is overridden and it aligns itself to the center. So all of these box alignment properties are now part of not only Flexbox, but they have their own CSS module and they've made their way into grid and other layout items and you can use them everywhere. And they are super, super powerful. So that's the tip for box alignment in CSS.